Welcome to another Godot recipe. In this video, we're going to look at how to make a touchscreen controlled camera with pan and zoom features. All right, let's get started. Okay, to start here, I've got a little top down 2D game that I want to put on mobile. And, you know, my player can walk around and I can see all the map, but I want to have some control of the camera on mobile. I want to be able to pan the camera around by dragging my finger on the screen, and I want to be able to pinch and zoom the camera in and out. All right, we're going to start with a new scene with a camera 2D, which I'm going to call touch screen camera. And let's go ahead and save that. So this is going to extend the camera. So we're going to add a script to it that extends camera 2D. So we're basically taking the camera 2D and adding some additional functionality to it. Okay, we're going to add a, let's make the font a little bigger. We're going to add a node path variable so that we can set the target. That's the thing that the camera is going to be following. And then we have a few variables that we need to set for how we want the speed that, that we want it to move and things like that. So there's a couple of things. When we drag the camera, we want it to return to the target, right? If I pan over to the side a lot and when I let go of the screen, I want it to pan back to the player and stay centered on him. So target return enabled. We're going to set that to true and we can set that to false if we don't want that to happen, if we want to force the player to drag the camera themselves, if they want to go back to where the player is. Um, target return rate is how fast it's going to do that. And we're going to do that relatively slow so we can see the effect. Uh, we're going to have a min and a max zoom level that we can go to. And this will depend on your particular um, scale and how much of the map you want to, the player to be able to see at once. Oh, and that's supposed to be max. And we're also going to have a zoom speed. That's how fast the zoom will happen. And, oh, and then the last one is we need a zoom sensitivity. That's going to be how sensitive the zoom is to your pinch uh, gestures. How much do you need to move your finger to make it zoom? All right, and then we're going to need a couple variables. Events is going to be a dictionary that keeps track of the touch events that happen in the input system. And finally, last drag distance is going to be a variable to keep track of as we're doing the pinching how much we moved the two pinch points the two touch points to each other all right in the process function we're going to move the camera towards the target if target return is enabled so if there's a target and target return enabled is true and events.size equals zero. That means there's no drag events happening. So if all those things are true, then we're going to take our camera's position and we're going to lerp it back to the target. To the target's position at the target return rate. All right, now we can start programming the gestures. And we're going to start with the pan gesture. So we're going to capture this in unhandled input. And if the event is an input event screen touch, that's what we're looking for, then either it's going to be pressed, meaning we started a, a touch, or it's going to be released, which means we let go. So if it's pressed, that means we started a new event. So in the events, we're going to use the event index as the key, and we're going to store the event in that dictionary. We're doing this because there can be multiple events at once, right? When you're doing pinch, there's two touches happening at the same time. And if we got a event that wasn't pressed, then we need to do the opposite. And we need to erase event.index out of that dictionary. Okay. So that detected a touch, but now we need to detect if it was a drag. So if we get a screen drag event, then we're going to also put that 
into the into the dictionary and note that if the index was the same meaning if we just did one touch it's going to be index 0 and then we start dragging that same touch index 0 is going to get updated to be that new event if events.size is 1 so if we only have one event when we have a drag that means we're doing a single finger drag so we're going to update the position of the camera and we'll use event.relative to get the direction we moved in and we'll multiply it by our zoom level which right now is 1 so we're multiplying by 1 but as we zoom in or out we're going to want to change the speed of our drag okay so let's take a look at what that looks like so I've added a couple of debug draw commands here so that we can see this is just displaying the size of that events dictionary and the zoom level of the camera and then when I detect a touch event I'm going to draw a circle there so now we can see if this was our finger we can drag it and the camera will pan around wherever we go and when we let go it will slowly come back to the target at that return rate speed and see we've made it a little since we're doing lerp there it will go fast when it's far away and then gradually slow down as it gets back to the player so that's working pretty good and as you can see we can test it on the pc with our mouse but unfortunately to test the pinch and zoom we need two touch events and we can't emulate that with the mouse so we are going to have to test on the phone all right, so fortunately, I have an Android device, which means it's as easy for me as pressing the Android deploy button here to launch the application on my device, which I have capturing in an app here. So now we can see the app here, and I'm going to go and I'm going to touch the screen on my phone, and you can see the pan is still working. And now if we want to do the zoom, I'm going to see the two touch events occur, and then as I pinch in and out, you see the camera zooming so that is all working like we want and see how the the pan speed is affected by the zoom level so that we don't pan too fast when we're zoomed in and too slow when we're zoomed out so that's it a fairly basic starter drag camera that you can add to your mobile apps um, some ways you could extend this you could return the zoom to the original level after zooming. You could use a double tap to reset all of the camera settings. So you zoom back out on a double tap. You can add more gestures, right? If events.size is three, then you have a three finger drag happening and you could do another behavior when that occurs. All right, thanks for watching and I'll see you in the next recipe. This tutorial is part of my new Godot recipes website. The goal is to collect all the best tips and lessons to help make you a better Godot developer. If you liked this video, I hope you'll go and check out the site. And make sure to hit subscribe so you'll be notified whenever I release new videos. Thanks for watching.